Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about a simple but an important procedure, wound culture and the procedure how the swab is collected for culture and sensitivity. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notification. Let's get into the session. What is wound culture? A wound culture or a swab culture is the most common technique used because it is non-invasive and most cost effective. This type of culture will usually identify the bacterial species of the infection and help steer antibiotic therapy. Now let's look into the indications for taking a wound culture. Clinical evidence or signs and symptoms of wound infection, delayed wound healing, and deterioration of the own despite antimicrobial or antibiotic treatment. Next, let's discuss about clinical evidence of own infection where we will be discussing about local infection and systemic infection. First, let's look into local infection. It is evidenced by increased local warmth that is the area is warm when touched Next comes erythema that is redness. Here peri wound erythema is present for 2 cm or more. Next symptom is edema that is peri wound edema around the wound edges which is also covering 2 cm or more. Next comes odorous smell. Odor is present even after cleaning the wound. Next will be pain. Onset of wound pain, which will be gradually increasing in the wound area. Next will be increased volume of exuded. Now, let's discuss the clinical symptoms in systemic infection. Fever, chills or rigor, increased WBC count and sometimes patient may have increased blood glucose level. In extreme condition, it may also lead even to septic shock. Now, let's discuss wound culture techniques or how do we collect the wound culture. The first technique for collecting a wound swab is named the Lewin technique. This is the most commonly used technique. Lewin technique involves rotating the wound swab over a 1 cm square area that is 1 cm cross 1 cm of viable tissue of the wound for 5 seconds with adequate pressure. Viable tissue is a red or pink area of the wound. When you have a look at the picture, the area where the swab stick is touching the wound is a viable tissue. This is the most effective technique used for collecting the wound swab than any other techniques. The other technique is the Z technique which involves rotating the swab between the fingers in a zigzag fashion across the wound without touching its edges. Now, let's discuss about points to remember before collecting a wound swab. First is antibiotics. Before administering antibiotic, culture samples should be collected. If patient is on antibiotics, after collecting the sample, mention the antibiotic details in the lab slip. Next comes wound edge or peri wound. Avoid touching the wound edge or the peri wound skin while collecting the swab. Next comes the no touch technique. No touch technique is used to take a swab for wound culture, which involves following an aseptic technique in collecting a wound swab. Next is do not take the swab from necrotic tissue or pus or Escar. This may produce false results which can lead to inappropriate antibiotic treatment. Moreover, the particular area may be heavily contaminated with bacteria. Next, let's discuss about the equipment and supplies needed for collecting a wound culture. A sterile dressing tray, gloves, that is clean gloves, sterile gloves, normal saline, sterile swab and a kidney tray. Now let's discuss the procedure for collecting wound swab culture. 
identify the patient and explain the procedure and obtain the consent arrange all the supplies needed for the procedure maintain proper positioning perform hand hygiene wear clean glove and remove the soiled dressing of the wound remove the glove and perform hand hygiene wear clean glove and clean the wound with normal saline and with the help of a kidney tray collect the drain out of the saline after cleaning use sterile gauze to remove excess saline from the wound surface by gently touching the area follow living technique by rotating the wound swab over a 1 cm square area of viable tissue of the wound for 5 seconds with adequate pressure use sufficient pressure to extract fluid from the wound tissue avoid touching the wound edge or peri wound skin with swab immediately place the swab stick into the tube containing the medium and close it remove gloves and perform hand hygiene wear sterile glove and apply wound dressing according to the physician's order remove gloves and perform hand hygiene replace all the articles used for collecting the swab label the sample and send it to the lab and the label should contain details such as patient details identification date and time of collection and antibiotics if the patient is taking so this is all about collecting a wound swab for culture and sensitivity and the procedure involved if you find this video useful please like it and subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications thanks for watching have a nice day